Hello everyone, it's Your Options Guy. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at three stocks. We're gonna look over Tesla, Apple, and Pounder today. So um, I wanted to talk about Tesla and Apple specifically also because those were kind of the winners for today in terms of option flow. And so we're gonna go over the option flow data, try to analyze it a little bit more in depth, just try to figure out like what's happening with the options with these stocks and do a quick technical analysis and just kind of sum up where um, the direction I, I think these stocks are heading. Now, again, I'm not a financial analyst or advisor in any way. This is just for entertainment purposes and going over the data the way I see it. Please read the description. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so today, um, obviously, Tesla and Apple were basically like the clear winners. So as you can see here, they had they had the most uh, premium of, of amount of orders that, that came in. Facebook was actually um, a very close third. So, but let's not talk about Facebook right now. So, so Tesla. So yeah, Tesla has been kind of having like somewhat of, um, I would say like a, a dip. And I think every, with the whole news of Kathy Woods and like her $3,000 price target and everything, I think it caused like a Tesla to kind of like spike a little bit today. So let's take a look at what happened. So first let's take a look at premium. So for calls, um, the most premium um, orders that came in, are right here so i filter it down so premium right here 1.1 million for 416 at 650 strike so this one's more in the money as you can see that um when they got it they got it around um at the 679 price so this one's more in the money so what's more interesting to me is to see strikes that are out of the money because especially if, if they have a lot of uh, premium bets uh going in because I feel like um, out of the money and a lot of money and a lot of premium going in, especially if it's like a, like a sweeps and stuff like that. If if we see like patterns like that and then like um, the same strike being hit multiple times with segment expiration, I think that's just a, a good thing to look out for. So as you can see here, 416, 805 strike. And I think this one got hit here and it got hit right here as well. 805. I hear a couple more times, 805, 805. So yeah, so basically the person here, or I don't know if it's the same person or different types of people, but they're basically saying that they expect, um, you know, Tesla to be well over 805 um, or by 805, you know, by um, 416. So that's, um, I mean, I guess um, if you were to calculate the break even and, and everything, it would be um, more than 805. But, but yeah, it's basically kind of like the breakdown for premium. So let's take a look at uh, strike where the most strike, whoa, what the heck? Okay, so I'm filtering down by like the highest strike. Like, so 1,000, that's kind of crazy, but 1,618. Um, so there's 416s, 1,000s right here, 900, 90, 900. And this all came in today, by the way. So, wow, these are, okay, these are all definitely out of the money. Um, oh, well, there's a couple ones here. That are, these are all 326, so this week. And that's super risky, uh, having the weekly um, calls being purchased. But you never know what uh, the intentions of who's buying these um, calls are. It, c it could be that they're buying to close, for example. And even if they're buying to close, that's usually a bullish move because you're, um, you're buying to close your calls early because you feel like it's going to hit the strike. So... You want to close them out, you know, before he's a strike. So either way, it's uh, I feel like it's a, it's a bullish type of sentiment. But anyways, so that's basically the strikes. Uh, let's see what else can we see here. So let's just take a quick look at some open interest. So open interest, uh, four sixteen. Um, yeah, so four sixteen seems to be uh, pretty popular with open interest. And let's take a look at volume real quick. Which ones had the most volume compared to open interest? So 326 has a lot of volume going on. And as you can see, the, the 326 has been growing. So it started off, whoa, it was like around 34,000 uh, with the volume. And then it just shot up to like 88 towards the end of the day. But I'm pretty sure it's more as of right now. But anyway, so that's it for Tesla. Um, now let's take a quick look at Apple. All right, so Apple, let's see what happened with Apple. So again, let's go with premium first. So where did the biggest money go in in terms of calls? And I'll show you guys the, the bearish flow as well in a second. But so here's here's Apple. And 
as you can see the um, so these ones are more in the money so strikes 90 87 120 so these are all in the money um oh i guess the ones that are kind of like good to point out are these 132s right here so so this came in today and it chose 416 and and actually it, came, it probably it got hit like three times so 123 67 123 47 so it's possible that this person um could be one person that you know decided to split out these uh these uh purchases by oh no it was more of a more of a split so it came in and then four minutes later they bought again and then you know like almost an hour later they bought again same strike so it could be the same person it could be a different person you never know <clears throat> but either way uh 132 got hit multiple times and 416 let's take a look at the strikes real quick so these are the out of the money and i've been noticing with apple because apple has been getting a lot of like a lot of um, action going on it's been really active lately and um, for sure I've been seeing more out of the money calls being purchased for Apple um, I think I think the like probably the most popular stock I mean sorry strike that I've seen is I think 130 so with the expiration of 521 so I've been seeing 521 with a 130 strike um, I don't see it right here as of today but for sure I was seeing it like if if you were to look at the historical options flow and everything, um, I've been seeing the 130, 135, 4521. It's really popular. But anyways, look, so look at these <laughs> 150, 150. Wow, that's crazy. So that's like super out the money. Someone's being super bullish. Um, actually, these are all super bullish up here. So 150, 140, and most of them are all by 618, 618s right here. And they're all this year except this one right here, 617, 2022. So now let's take a quick look at the volume. So 326 has the most volume, of course, because it's, it's having the most action as of right now. And I think other than that, um, yeah, so that's the most volume so far, 326. So as you can see, it's been it's been going up. So it started around 27. And then towards the end of the day, it's up to 66. So there's a lot of volume going on with Apple. All right, so let's take a look at Palantir real quick. So Palantir has normally been in like I would say the, the top ten of um, of most premium orders and in, in the bullish flow. However, today it is not. It is actually way down here. So it only had one point one million um, in um, calls for premium orders today. So that's actually uh, relatively low from its average. I would say its average. Uh, consistently for the past couple of days it has been around 3 3.2 3.6 million so this is the first time i've seen it um come down so that that might be i don't know that could be an indication of of um of the you know like uh options being purchased uh less so um who knows right <laughs> it could be that um it's the action is, is going down now, which is causing the volume to go down, which might cause the price to go down or just like stagnate, which is kind of what we saw with uh, Palantir today. So out of out of these three that I'm talking about, Tesla and Apple had like a good run. Palantir is the only one that kind of like remained somewhat uh, fl or just flatlined today. And yeah, so let's take a quick look at the bearish flow. So Tesla uh, seen as it's also like in the top bullish flow it's also in the top bearish flow however for um in terms of premium tesla only has 5.6 in the in the bearish side like you know puts being purchased versus uh 14.5 so this is almost like three times more uh calls being purchased than puts for today and apple right there 3.7 and let's just take a quick look at, uh, what's going on so as you can see here this it's very small amount of, uh, of orders being placed but uh, let's see where are they coming so these are 326s a couple 326s so these are all like relatively short term not super long term um, at, which is kind of smart I wouldn't I wouldn't be buying puts long term for Tesla and for Apple let's take a look uh, Apple has definitely more action and well one because it's cheaper and also because um i think it's just like uh 
well, yeah, I, I think it's just because of that, cause, just because it's cheaper. And actually, Apple is probably like a lot easier to, to um, you know, bet against than Tesla, I would say. But yes, yeah, so that's pretty much like the action going on with, with Apple and puts. And do we have any action with Palantir here? Uh, yeah, it's all the way down here, but it's like it's a very small amount, like almost half the amount of of the uh, the, the calls. So as you can see here, um, it looks like the average is somewhere around 24, 25 average. Yeah. All right. So now let's take a quick look at some technical. So just real quick, this is kind of like my um, my Apple like trend. So we're still within this um, rising wedge for Apple. And actually just up until yesterday, it seemed like we're about to break this lower, lower line here for the rising wedge, possibly going or reversing to a falling wedge again. But today we um, Apple just shot up and um, it had a really good day overall. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. We'll see if it keeps going or if it's gonna have like a, like a little pullback tomorrow. Um, overall, tech kind of had like a, a rebound today. Nasdaq did um, relatively well compared to the, the other two uh, sectors, the Dow and S&P. So Tesla, um, so Tesla is interesting because <laughs> Tesla normally has like this, uh, it has a cost, like a long consolidation period, as you can see here, long consolidation period. And then boom, it just shoots up, right? And then it comes back down, consolidation, boom, shoots up, comes back down, consolidation, boom, shoots up, you know? That's kind of like the pattern that it has, and then it comes back down. So it seems like we're barely starting, like possibly the consolidation. And normally when um, Tesla does a consolidation, it, it could do it for like a while. Like, like it's very rare that I've seen it just consolidate for like a couple weeks. It normally, it normally consolidates for a while. Especially with with the um, with the markets kind of just being a little bit bearish now with the whole um, bond yields and interest rates and all that stuff, so it seems like it might consolidate a, you know a little bit longer than 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 usual. So we'll see what happens with that. And then here's the Palantir breakdown. So Palantir is almost somewhat like a Tesla mini pattern, or it has a consolidation period. It jumps up, comes back down. Consolidation jumps up, comes back down. Actually, this pattern right here, up, down, up, down, consolidation, looks very similar to this pattern where it's up, down, up, down, and then possibly a consolidation period here as well. But anyways, Palantir is still within its rising wedge. So today, it, it wasn't like Apple where it hit up here. It's still like touching this bottom bottom wedge part right here, but um, it has been maintaining its, uh, like it's good, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, its range, I would say. So it's been, it's definitely been within that 24 range, um, average, I would say. And, and yeah, so I'll, later on I'll do a video of pounds here with, um, I'll do like a bull versus bear type of case, because I feel like as of right now, pounds here is kind of like in that, uh, zone where there's, um, the bulls and bears are kind of like, like, uh, fighting against each other. So probably just like keeping the stock, like flatlining for a while. And uh, I think it's a uh, it's a good thing to look at the two sides, you know, the bull case versus the bear case, and just go over like, um, you know, the reasons. Uh, both have good reasons and stuff. So I'll make a video on on that side uh, later on. But anyways, that's it for today. Uh, if you like this video, if you like this content, me showing you guys what's going on with the bullish flow, the bearish flow, what are the, the top winners of the day, uh, make sure you. Uh, subscribe make sure you hit that like button if you like this video like this content and i'll see you guys in the next video